Welcome, friends. We're Bob and Fran, healthy aging advocates, authors, and coaches. We believe that healthy eating is the key to healthy aging, starting at any time in your life. Today's video is going to be a game changer for many of you as we share our proven step-by-step -step guide to beginning a whole food, plant-based lifestyle. It's worked for us and for so many others who we have coached. So please be sure to take notes. Eating whole food, plant-based means eliminating all meat, fish, dairy, and processed foods. Also, it is wise to reduce or avoid salt, sugar, and oil. But this is not as daunting as it sounds, and it gives you a huge edge in living a longer and healthier life. Here's the plan to get there and to love it. Step one is de to determine why you want to change the way you eat. Do you want to change your diet to reverse disease, prevent illness, lose weight, increase energy, feel better about how you feel and look? That's pretty good. I'd like to do that. Or do you want to change your diet to help improve the environment? That's a good reason too. Or do you want to do it for animal welfare? Yeah. Step two is to educate yourself. So we advise you to read a couple of different books, for example. Uh, we, we would recommend The China Study by T. Colin Campbell, How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger, and Reverse and Prevent Heart Disease by Dr. Estelson. Estel Esselstyn. Esselstyn. I always have trouble with that. <laughs> Dr. Name. Caldwell Esselstyn. It is a it's a it's a life-changing book. Yeah, that is to, to reverse and prevent heart disease. There's a couple of documentaries that we like, three of them primarily. One is, and these are these are movies, you can find these online. Forks over knives, what the health, love that one, yeah. and game changers. Game Changers is especially uh, interesting for young people and athletes. Right. You can also research recipes so you're sort of prepared for what your cooking is going to be like. There are a ton of recipes on the internet. We have a lot of friends' favorite recipes on our website at bobandfran.com, and I'll post the links. If you want to, the books, uh, we also feature those on our website. You can buy these uh, from our websites. I just wanted to mention that when we went plant-based 15 years ago, there was almost nothing on the internet and very few books in the bookstore on eating a plant-based lifestyle. So now it's just so easy. You can just, just about Google anything you want to know. Yeah, it's much easier to do. Step three is to make a plan and commit to it. Look at this as a lifestyle change and an opportunity to try new, delicious, and nutritious foods. Determine how you want to do this. Do you want to do it 100% all in? That's what we do. Yeah, we feel that if you have a serious health issue, that's the way to go. You could do a 45-day trial and see how you feel, or you can do a gradual approach, which we really do not advocate because from our experience, it doesn't work. People fail to follow through. Then you have to decide what commitment you want to make. Write it down and post it in your home. You could post a sign saying, I am committed to a whole food plant-based lifestyle to reverse diabetes lose weight, save the environment, or because of your love for animals or whatever. So you can kind of write your own uh, commitment and uh, tailor it to your own needs. And stick it up on your refrigerator. Right. <laughs> so write it out, stick it up. <laughs> and, and follow it. <laughs> yeah. And sort of bet on yourself. You can do it. If we did it, you can do it. And we did it when we were in our 60s. And we've never looked back and we feel better than ever. We would advise you also to get your doctor's approval or uh, for switching your diet or find a whole food plant-based diet, a doctor that can sort of guide you 
on this path. Step four is really important, is to do a pantry and refrigerator makeover. This, now, is, this is really big. Yeah. Give away all the non-compliant foods that you presently have in your home. We're talking about meat, fish, chicken, eggs, all dairy products, plus highly processed foods like chips. Our plan is to replace them with nutritious plant-based foods. Step five is really important also. It's to shop for healthy foods. The first thing you have to do is read labels. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm not talking about the front of the product. I'm talking about turning it over and looking at the back. You have to find out what is in each item. Avoid corn ingredients, such as corn syrup, corn fructose, chemicals, and it's, et cetera. Avoid processed foods, GMOs, which are genetic, genetically modified organisms, and soft drinks. Yeah, would it say on a typical food label, on non-GMOs, that's what we're looking it for? It says on many labels, it'll say non-GMO, and you'll also see many times, you'll see a little butterfly. That means it's non-GMO verified. Well, that's good. Yeah. And, so, and, and, and also yeah. the word vegan, yeah. I know that you told me about that. You kind of look for the word vegan on the package. So that's pretty much. Yeah, many times be, it'll have that. Yeah. Buy organic whenever possible, especially corn and soy products, because from our research, we have found that almost 95% of all the corn and soy sold in the United States is genetically modified. Now, we're, we just personally feel that we don't want to eat genetically modified foods. Right. Fruits and vegetables of all kinds, both fresh and frozen. Now, we like fresh whenever possible, but from what we understand, vegetables and fruit are frozen immediately after being picked. And so they are also healthy whenever you can't get fresh. What about like milk, milk? Okay, I, we buy plant-based milk, we buy it unsweetened so that there's no added sugar to it. I know some people like to make their own plant-based milk, but we choose to buy it. So where are we getting our protein as we're asked almost every day <laughs> okay. with this shopping? Okay, please understand that all plants have protein. And when animals eat plants, that's where the animals get their protein. So if you were to eat an animal product, you're getting secondhand protein. Your proteins come from nuts, seeds, beans, legumes, lentils, grains, whole grain pasta, rice, quinoa, leafy greens, colorful veggies, all have protein. Yeah. Uh, we have heard from many different doctors that no doctor has ever seen a protein deficient patient who follows a whole food plant-based diet. And just try to buy fresh, clean, nutritious foods. So step six is to get cooking. Now I'm not the cook in my house. But I'm the cook, but Fran, he's the eater. Fran, <laughs> I clean up the kitchen. Yeah, anyway. yeah. That he does. And Fran follows what she calls the three E's. So the first one, what is the first E? The first one is easy. I know there's lots of really complicated recipes out there. I go for easy ones. Start with simple to make meals. Yeah, and you can, again, just go to the internet. It, it doesn't have to be low in flavor. It can be still high and delicious food. But Fran cooks pretty simple. Please understand that a lot of people think that we just eat rice and steamed vegetables. We never just eat rice and steamed vegetables. We eat really high, highly flavored foods. We eat a lot of spices. So there are a lot of easy recipes to follow. You don't have to get real complicated. The second E would be to experiment, to try new dishes. Um, if you work, do some cooking on the weekend and you can make enough food to last for several meals. Right. Like if you have an instant pot, uh, you can make a huge pot of soup or stew um, that can go for several meals. Just since it's just the two of us, what I normally do is make a big recipe and immediately freeze half of it. 
Yep. So then down the road, I've got another meal without having to cook. So the third E is my favorite one. It's enjoy. So I have watched since we went plant-based about 15 years ago, I have watched my beautiful wife make cooking a hobby instead of a chore. I don't think she was uh, really <laughs> into cooking that much no. beforehand. Before we went plant-based, we thought we were eating really healthy by eating grilled chicken, grilled fish, really boring meals that were no fun to cook and not much fun to eat. No. But now, like I said, I use lots of spices. I use a lot of international recipes, which you can find on our website. And cooking has become a lot of fun and a delicious hobby. It is so <laughs> good for me, the eater. <laughs> good for me, too. <laughs> yeah. uh, I have a suggestion in step seven that, that I think uh, a lot of people are taking advantage of, and that's to join a whole food plant-based group uh, in your area locally. These would be people that advocate the idea of eating plants and vegetables primarily, and they uh, maybe meet once a month or they meet even online. You can organize a group if there isn't one in your area and uh, I think it's just good to meet and socialize with other people that are plant-based eaters. And so we know that more and more people are switching every day. So you are not alone, but if you could find a group to sort of hang with and uh, learn from, get cooking ideas and recipes and such, join a group. And again, either local or online. You could do some research online today. Now, step eight, do your best. Don't be too hard on yourself. Focus on the major stuff, like switching from meat, fish, dairy, eggs, to plant-based foods and whole grains. Do your best. But if you fall off the wagon once in a while, just get back on track. Just don't beat yourself up, I think is the yeah. point. We also think it's a good idea to even get your family involved. Let, let your friends and family see how you eat and how you're cooking. But I wouldn't push this eating lifestyle on anyone. It's your own thing, your own decision. And when the time is right, you can start spreading the word how, how great it is, but really don't force it on anyone. I also think it's a really good idea to adopt some type of exercise program that you would do every day to complement your new eating regimen. You can do some walking every day, biking, chair exercises are fun and easy if you can't get outdoors. Qigong is another thing we advocate. And all these things you can find either on our website, all free, or on our YouTube channel. And we'll have links for both in the description area uh, section below. So there you have it. Eat like your life depends on it because it, it does. does. Remember that what you eat is going to reflect on how you look and how you feel. So we'll answer any questions you have, especially for your newbies that are thinking about going plant-based. Just ask your questions in the comments section, and we assure you, we'll give you the best possible answer that we can. We also would appreciate your liking us, sharing this video with others who may be interested. Maybe you could buddy up with someone and, and take this uh, new lifestyle on. And of course, we really appreciate your subscribing to our channel and hit the notification bell as well. And... We look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.